Hello all, um, I'm just doing a quick um, Lush haul. So I went there for a Mother's Day haul, an Easter Day haul, and possibly eleven um, Valentine's Day haul. But there wasn't any Valentine's Day, that's fine. I, there wasn't really much I wanted there from Valentine's. Although there, I did see there was the Valentine's soap, um, but I smelt it and didn't particularly want it. So, these are the things I got. I got three Easter products, one Mother's Day, and two normal range. So, the first product I got is a cute Mother's Day bubble bell. Oh, the leaf's just gone off. And this is called Mumkin. And look, it's a cute little pinky coloured base and oh I'll just leave it there. And then or um yellow hair. And this smells um of like a really really sweet fruit. And it's meant to smell of raspberries and it is and it is quite a raspberry scent. So I'll just read to you what it says in the Lush Times about Mumpkin. If you're wondering just what sort of creature a Mumpkin is, then it's no use asking us, because we don't know either. All you need to know is that she's very cute, is that she's cute, very friendly, and loves to be crumbled under the tap to bring you mountains of fruity bubbles. The Mumpkin smells of sweet raspberries and colours the bath water a pretty shade of pink. So, it does smell really nice. Um, and if I get the chance again, I would definitely get one of those again. Well, first I'm going to chat in the bath as well, but it does smell good. So, here is some soap called the Egg Hunt, which is an Easter product, but it has the same scent as the Mother's Day. Um, bubble bar. Now the whole like um packle of soap looks like this here. So with loads of eggs, like it's an Easter egg hunt. And it's really green and see the break pretty cut. Right, let me just open this up. Okay. So here it is. So it's bright green, which is quite a weird shade, but it's, I can. Sm it's very strong smelling. I've got part of the yellow egg here, and this is a bit more than 100 grams because it's quite hard for them to often get 100 because if they like cut a bit off to make it 100, then they can't sell that chunk. So you usually like sort of make you buy a bit more, but it's nice, it's like a um, refreshing yet sweet raspberry scent. Now I did only want like a really small bit because you know I really don't need more soap because I, I'm quite slow at using it because I only use it for hand washing. I'll probably have to start using it in the shower or bath. But that, it does smell nice. So this is called Easter Egg Hunt. And I'll just quickly read you what it says. A whole truck of this soap looks like a giant lawn studded with Easter eggs, ready to be found. You don't have to look very hard, though. There are lots of them making this a very impressive soap. Easter egg hunt is fragrance with the same sweet, fruity raspberry perfume as our Mother's Day Monkey bubble bar. The lush Easter bunny has been very good to us this year. And I've got to say, the Easter range is good. I like a lot more things than usual. So, moving on. Sorry. A number on my hand um, is this oh, few sparkles, big big bubble bar called the Bright Side, and it says everything's bright about this bubble bar, from the swirling orange and red colour to the juicy f citrus fragrance. Mark calls his perfume triple orange, and it's easy to see why. Close your eyes, and you can imagine you're lying in a sunny orange grove, without the danger of falling fruit landing on your head. 
If you prefer to keep your eyes wide open, you'll enjoy the sight of vivid orange water and mountains of foamy bubbles. So, oh, it does smell nice. Just like, you know when someone says, oh yeah, um, it's orange scent. Or well, not when someone says, but a product is decide, described as orange and it doesn't actually smell of orange. This does actually have um, like orange touch to it. Like real orange. And it has like some other... Um, sides to it as well, like fruity sweet. That's really, that's really nice. And I was going to get another one of them, but I thought it's so big. Um, about to just use lots. So next is Penyata. This is a big bath bomb, and this is actually one of the most expensive things I've here I got. And so it's a bath bomb. And I'll just read to you what this does. Smash your Hanata against the side of your bath from for an explosion of wonderful surprises. A mini ballistic egg, petals, a blooming big bunch of soap paper flakes, and a shower of green glitter. Along with her cargo of goodies, she carries a lovely fragrance full of sunny citrus oils like silicon mandarin tangerine and bermagot. Use one first thing in the morning to put some spring in your step. And it does, it smells quite nice, like um, more of a Mediterranean um, citrus, if that makes sense. <laughs> so this is a non-limited product. And it's the Twilight Bath Bomb, and I've only tried this once, and it was like, um, um, when I first like Lush, so, so, um, maybe one and a half years ago, something like that, and this is super nice, I got this for a cocktail to use, sorry, to use in a cocktail, and I'll just read you what it says about this. Pop twilight in the warm bath and layer upon layer of colour and fragrance will unfold. At first it looks like pink fluffy clouds at dusk and then, like the sun setting, your bath will transform to a deep purple of the sky at night, complete with iridescent glitter stars. If that isn't relaxing enough, we add a sweet lavender and milk fragrance to carry you off to a dreamland. So that's super nice. And something not so nice smelling is a Cosmetic Warrior Fresh Face Mask. Now I swapped um, five pots, four black pots for this. And it says this gentle face mask contains combat spots and soothes troubled skins with antiseptic fresh garlic tea tree essential oil deep cleansing kaolin and antibacterial honey use it to banish breakouts so I got this one because there was only three um, face masks face masks there this one and two others which was for old mature skin so one of them was sort of for like really dry skin and um, you know it was all they were both like for tightening and stuff and I only had ten minutes in the shop so I just had to grab a few things. Well, I mean, I went to the shopping centre just for Lush, but I was only allowed a few minutes. So this smells um, sort of natural, fresh-like, um, a bit garlicky, only a tiny bit. I know lots of people say it smells, it doesn't really smell that much. So, that'll be good to try. So, here is my haul, and I hope you like it. Thank you very much, and I should be doing, I might be doing some demos with these, and cocktails, and I just wanted to show you this and give you a description, so if anyone is thinking to buy these, I, thought, I think they're very nice. So, thank you very much, bye.